From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top story, some political drama overshadowing the expansion of the coronavirus vaccination effort. It involves DNA leader Arinthia Komalafe, who was questioned by police yesterday about her involvement in a March 3rd demonstration in Rosin Square. A matter was brought to the attention of the police that warranted an investigation. And as a result of that investigation, Ms. Komalafe was invited to the Central Police Station. She's now assisting the police with the investigations into this matter. That's ASP Audley Peters. She's calling it political victimization, but Police Commissioner Roll says this has nothing to do with politics. There's nothing political about it, and I don't see colors. So whether it's red, yellow, or green, everybody is treated the same. We have not done anything to prevent uh, Ms. Kamala Fea from getting her message out. I encourage persons to get their message out. What we simply say is to do it right. There's plenty of reaction to the incident. The DNA leader getting support from PLP leader Davis, who called the move frightening and hypocritical, among other things. Anderson MP Glennis Hannah Martin and former opposition leader Loretta Butler Turner also questioning that move. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Mrs. Komalafe was released after several hours of questioning by police. No decision yet on whether she's going to be facing any charges. And this is a part of what she told the media. I don't know if you have ever heard in the history of this country where a male leader of a political party has been arrested for expressing their voice. Mm -hmm. This is a first in our country. Dr. Minnis himself was a part of a protest in 2016 with the We March. And Mr. Dr. Minnis was never brought in for questioning to our knowledge. He was also a part of the protest on Paradise Island where there was actually destruction to property. And to our recollection, Dr. Minnis was not brought in for questioning. The coronavirus vaccination effort continues. Defense Force Commodore King among those getting his shot yesterday. And another center opens here in the capital today. The case number is going down again after that concerning spike reported over the weekend. Twelve total cases for Sunday, five each in the capital and Grand Bahama, two in Abaco. Hospitalization is now up to 26 with three persons in the intensive care. Healthcare officials are concerned about that. Police looking into another murder, number 28 for the year, a man identified as Carlos Brown, shot and killed at his home on Wilson Track here in the capital yesterday morning. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny today. Highs from the upper 70s to mid-80s. 77 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 84 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds 5 to 10 knots. The sea's 1 to 3 feet. Next tide is a low around 10 this morning. Next high about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. Read the Tribune's Women's section every Tuesday for interviews, special features, and insightful commentary. It's the voice of women across the island. Strong, sassy, and sharp. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines, another major gun violence incident in the U.S. Just days after eight people were shot and killed in Atlanta, a gunman opened fire at a mall in Boulder, Colorado, killed 10 persons, including a police officer. There is a suspect in custody. Weather's making news, major flooding in southeastern Australia. Heavy rain in the area has caused dams and rivers to overflow, and the rain continues there. Thousands of persons evacuated and displaced. Many homes have been damaged or destroyed. Five persons are dead after a fire destroyed a refugee camp in Bangladesh. Thousands of refugees have been displaced. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 452, SO 452, Rubus $4.52 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get details of the National Schools Golf Championships now underway. The Tribune Sports has the latest. DeAndre Aiden is having a great season in the NBA, making some history also. Find out the latest on that. 
19 points for Buddy Heal last night in a Sacramento win at Cleveland. The Kings are now 18-25 and 25 on the season. They have some work to do to make a playoff run. There's more NBA news, the latest on March Madness, and the latest on Major League Baseball spring training heading for the season opening on April 1st. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.